Monkey Wheels 103. Out for a very quick ride. The weather is very ominous. I think we are going to get rained on, and I've only got a rain jacket on, so I'll get wet. I'm with Dale. He's just bought himself a brand new CF. What are they? CF 450 MT. So it, this is his first off-road ride. So it's just a bit of a bit of a feel and see uh, feel the bike out. It's like I said, it's only a only a little bit of a short ride. And uh, yeah, we've got work done to the road here. And uh, he might give me a go on it. So. If you're watching this video, well, he did give me a go on it. Otherwise, there's, well, I won't post it. If he doesn't give me a go on the bike, I'm not going to post the video. So, uh, yes. Uh, first look at them and sit on them. And, uh, gee, they're, not, they're a nice looking bike. I, I mean, I know it's subjective the looks, but um, I like the look of it. It looks really good. Uh, I'd definitely get the tall seat for me. I'm actually, my legs are bent a little bit when I sit with my legs on the ground, but also seating on the bike. But we'll talk about that if, like I said, if he does give me a go. Um, yeah, I'll give you my impressions on it. My first, just really, it'll only be a short ride, not an in depth review. But, uh, I almost was going to buy one, I had a deposit on one. Um, when they come out, but uh, as you know, I, I've got the 790 instead, second hand, and, and I'm happy for the 790. Uh, so yeah, I might do a quick talk on that one day about buying a second hand 790, is it worth it? Well, there we go, we've got a little bit of air. First bit of air on the uh, MT, easy Dale, easy son. You've got 50-50 tyres on. No, he's going to go up the hard way. Alrighty. It's actually not too bad, it's pretty dry actually. Off he goes, woohoo! It'd be good to get his um, thoughts straight away. Not too bad up here. He's doing this easy, he's flying along. I am going to pump our tyres up. Dale and me, we're old buggers. And you turn up for a ride, and I guarantee a lot of folks look at us and you go, oh, look at these old bastards. And uh, we're ex-racers, you know what I mean? And we weren't too bad ex-racers. And they all get a bit of a shock, that's all I'll say. All of a sudden they can't keep up with the old fellas. And Dale is riding that thing quite easily. This is the lookout where I come to. Dale and I probably hold hands here and look into each other's eyes. Maybe not.
feel gutless and the, the pegs will feel funny. I've got the traction control on one, so that yeah. means you will spin up easy as anything, just be mindful of that. Now, go you're going to hate the clutch. I've put a new clutch plates in and everything, but the clutch take up is still way out from the bars. It's fine when you're riding using a bit of clutch, but you'll see what I mean. Yeah. I'll get them a look at that. Alrighty, what do I need to do? Just hit the. Just think about power wise in comparison with your DR, not in comparison with that. Oh, I'm not, yeah, that's two different bikes, mate. So I just hit that button to start it? Yeah. Here we go. I like the dash, mate. Nice looking dash. What? Yeah, <laughs> short legs. Alrighty, first go on a CF Moto 450. First impressions, uh, and very first impressions. The motor is very, very smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Uh, the foot pegs seem a bit forward. So when you're standing, they're, they're forward, if you know what I mean. Uh, very quiet. Very quiet. That's in fifth gear, and that's going along nice. So that's four and a half. And I, I realise a uh, smaller capacity motor, you've got a rev and being a higher rev range. But you don't know you're actually doing the revs in it. believe how smooth that motor is. It's a beautiful and smooth motor. I definitely need the taller seat. Uh, but it's a nice place to be. Yeah, the seat's, the seat's too low for me. Uh, my legs are con bent big time. But like I said, I do have a, high, a long legs, short torso. Steve's okay, I'm not feeling anything weird about it. And that takes off bloody well, that's I'm I don't want to jump on this thing. Now I know what he means, the front forks are harsh. I'm going to say it's the valving. And the throttle is a little bit snatchy. Something needs to be done there. I think they've got programming for that. Like, like any bike you get, new bike, you just sort things out. So that's 4,000. That accelerated really well.
flowy. Yeah, the, the throttle is a little bit off and on. That's what I noticed, but I know there is a new, uh, I think there's a new map out already for it. Uh, it's a nice quiet bike, it really is. To get it over on its side, I have to do a fair bit, I don't know, it's a, a bit of an input, fair bit of, not fair foot, but you do have to really push it over to get it through the corners, if you know what I mean, to turn it. That's what I'm noticing. I don't know if Daryl's checked his tyre pressures, I'll ask him that. But remember, we're riding a bike that has not been touched, he hasn't fiddled with it. Uh, he'll sort it out. Oh, he's got the traction control on. Don't want to hit that. He's got the traction control on. Have you got traction control on? Oh, it's terrible. Not terrible, it's interacting. I was wondering what was going on. So I was trying to lock it. Oh, how do you turn it off? Oh. It goes off on the fly. So just hold it in? Just hold it in. It'll be off. Off, right. There we go. I'll just go a bit further. I'm having a ball on it. Where are you doing it? Mate, I've sort of, my camera's been rolling the whole time, but oh, that's why I backed off down there in third gear and opened it up. Mate, it's, uh, I mean, it's got what it's got. It's not going to do roost tailing, mate, but it's got good momentum speed, mate. It picks up good. It's actually surprised me, and it'll only get better, you know. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, they really do. Um, you know they've got a different map for this now too. I, I know the throttle's a little bit on and off, yeah. but they've got a new map for this. Yeah, I think the, I think triple or final cycle. Yeah. Got a for I think they'll only get better, mate. Yeah, and it gets another four or five horsepower out of it too. Yeah, mate. Oh, the seat's too low for me sitting in it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm right there. Oh, I did say that. I mean, no firm, I think the foot peg is a bit too far forward for me. I think they need to be back a bit, but it's something you'd get used to riding. You know what I mean? I can feel instantly the wide foot peg on this. Yeah. I mean, I've got the rubbish in it. Yeah, I noticed this. Yeah, yeah, I did notice that. So, I don't know if you heard that conversation with Darm Dale, so. That's better. I've got it off road now, they're besting that off it now. And it's not a bike to launch off things, guys. You know, it's not that type of bike. Yeah, if you bought it for that, well, you bought the wrong bike. So there's here, I'm not going to launch you here. So it's got a little, it's got enough power when you're right, in the right speed to keep the front wheel up. You know, so it, it's got that. Yeah, we're talking about the valving. I, I think the forks, people are saying it's firm. It's just the valving that I think needs to be sorted out. It's not going through the stroke properly. It's almost like a hydro lock type feeling. So the, the, the valving, oil's not getting through the valving.
Oh, I'll hand it back to Dale. That was just a quick ride. My impressions now I'm off the bike. Just so now, because I was really concentrating on the bike, you know, didn't want to hit anything you know, or damage anything on the bike naturally. Um, first impressions for what you're paying for the bike, and you just go, oh, what you're paying for it, it's not bad for what you're paying for it. No, um, the thing is, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really match this bike. What I think you're doing is that you're getting a bargain for this bike. It's actually, I think if it was this bike was made by Honda or whatever, I think it'd be around about a, might be a $12,000, $13,000 bike. So, you, folks are paying nine grand for them, what are they are, nine and a half? That is a bargain for a good bike. Tom will tell what quality wise, how long the motor lasts and other issues. Uh, the front forks, yeah, the valving needs to be done. We need to look at the valving to get that front fork, stop that harshness on it. So it's definitely, uh, but that's not a big issue. The, the rear shock is better than the fork action at the moment. I, I didn't have any issue with the rear shock. Uh, but the front fork, yes, it does have that harshness. And it's definitely the valving, not the spring rate. Oh, he's got, he's got a bit of an air there. Um, but yeah, so, so it's definitely the valving and give it time. The suspension people out there will get that all sorted for you and uh, just get some valving done. So that's about the regarding suspension wise. That's an easy fix. Uh, the motor, it's a, it's a sweet little motor. Uh, really smooth, not vibrating at all. He's gonna give me a ride on the road, so I'll put the camera on there to see what it's like sitting on 100, a quick flip on 100. So the motor is a sweet motor. I know some people are changing the gearing to a taller gearing. Uh, I'm not sure about that because the gearing on it now is really good for this type of riding. So you've got that peakier power. Um, I mean, it's not going to do big wheelies everywhere, but it's got enough power of the current gearing to keep the front wheel up, if you know what I mean, like this here. So, accelerate, keep the front wheel up. So, it stops the nose from diving. So, it's got enough power to do that. Uh, the seating position for me seated. I'm 5'9", I have a 30, 32 inch seam. So, with me seating, sitting down, sorry, on the bike, I'm, I'm crouched, I'm, I'm too bloody crouched, you know. Um, I'm too low on the bike. I think my eye line's almost at the bloody, at the, at the dash, it was too low. So I'd have to put a, uh, the taller seat on it. And Dale is also all of the tall seat. Um, the standing, like I said earlier, I felt like the pegs are a bit far forward. And they could be, but they're only a little bit. And it's something that you're quite easy to get used to. Um, if you bought the bike, like I said earlier, to go loft and off big jumps and that sort of stuff, well, you bought the wrong bike, in my opinion. And that's why I bought this 790. Oh, I think Dale's going to enjoy that bike. Oh, I really do. Um, I know now that if I did go ahead and buy one, I would not be disappointed. Uh, I would not have been disappointed. So I'm, I'm going to give my thumbs up. I am going to give my thumbs up for the 450. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dale, like I said, rode my 790 and he, he actually liked it. And he said he could see himself having one of these bikes, he said. Yeah, he said the same thing. It does feel like a trial bike to ride. Uh, the power was great, he said, you know. 
Uh, and it's like I said, I've got a fair bit of fuel in this too. It's probably about, probably about 16 litres, you know. And so he, he, he did like it. So there you go. But he's happy with what he's got there. I think he said he paid just over, just under nine. I mean, geez. When you think about adventure bikes, guys, are all up at around about the 20 bloody five grand mark. The world raids 26 in it or something. KDM 25, 25 and a half. And then you've got to buy the, the rally part of it, which takes up over 26, I think. So you can see why I bought this for 11 and a half. You know what I mean? And then take the you know the chance with the cam and but now KDM are coming to the party anyway. So if I do have a cam issue, I'm pretty confident that KDM's gonna fix it for me under warranty or goodwill as they say. He's bloody flying on it. Remember you got 50-50s, Dale? 50-50s, buddy. We're just trying to find a, a flat spot there down there, Dale. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna lay the bike over. See how he picks it up. Yeah, I was just saying, mate, on the camera there, I was hoping that you were going to stop. Okay. I was saying on the camera that I was hoping you were going to stop to do this. Mate, I don't want you to do get tyres for it in suspension. I'll bloody keep up with you. I reckon there's good tyres on it. I can, I can pump as well. Yeah, well, you, you go down there. Look at yourself, Dale, slow down, mate. 50-50s. Yeah, I, I, you look, well, you look, I don't know, you look pretty comfortable on it to me. No, obviously the more I ride it. Yeah. Do you want me to lay it over for you first? Yeah. This, you go this way, go this way. Cause you're a little bit low down there, mate. All right, I've got it. All right, I'll try and have a look at the camera. Let's we'll see what we've got there. Are you going to put bars on it or not? Crash bars, that is. Yeah, because the um, bottom cowling is they're hitting there a little bit. Um, no, that's the whole, whole idea. So there you go, mate. If, you, if, uh, if you can pick it up, okay. How was that? Yeah. Well, your rally's probably a taller sort of bike, mate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to... Uh, CF Moto. I'm just going to have a ride on the road to see what it's like. It's got some punch. That's the thing about it. It's got some punch, which is good. Acceleration. It gets up nicely. So at a hundred, it's just doing short of six. Yeah. I'm getting no buffering at all. I'm hardly ever get, even getting wind because I'm sitting that low. So that's at six now. I'm just listening to the motor. That, it's cruising along nice. That's a nice place to be at 100 kilometres an hour. I don't think I'd push it much more than that. So it's similar to what the DRZ is. And it's almost doing the same revs as my DRZ guys with the 1542 gearing. So uh, my DRZ does about 5.8, but this is a lot smoother than what my DRZ is, that's for sure. That is nice. A 
the red line's an eight and a half, so, you know. You've got to remember, it's a 450. Well, we'll sign off now, because I'm going to just go down here and give Dale, get the bike back to Dale. Um, but what the bike is, it's not, a, it's not a rally racer, you know, it's not a motocross bike. It's a, uh, you want to use the word, adventure type bike that allows you to ride on the road in comfort and ride in comfort off-road. I, I think they've nailed it. I really do. Um, and it feels nice and it feels quality the best way to say it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel weird, it doesn't feel something strange, you know, like some bikes from China, cheap Chinese things can feel. It's actually quite nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll keep me 790, um, because I'm now committed to that bike. But yeah, very nice. What else is there out there like this? There's nothing in this sort of size motor. There's nothing like it. I mean, got the CB500. I, I'm going to say this is for more sort of off-roading, adventure-type riding, in my opinion. When you're standing and, and seating and that type of stuff, this is a better bike. Um, well done, CF Moto 450. Oh yeah, would I buy one? Well, I'd have to say yes, I would. Bloody hell. The clutch is nice. Yeah, there's a bit of a snatch in the throttle there. They'll fix that up. 